Yes, guys, we've made it to episode 20 of the Fulham career mode. Um, five, well, four games in today's episode. We start off in 13th in the league. I think we're the second highest scoring team in the league currently, but we've also conceded the most goals in the league. So, you know, that's that's just us down to a T, really. Um, we start with a press conference to try and change the morale of the team. Obviously, they're not really good this FIFA. They're a bit broken. But, um, I mean, I just take them for a bit of realism, to be honest. Try and take them. But, I mean, literally, I took all three answers, all the positive ones, and no response from the team. So, I was like, yeah, that's good. Good waste of time, that. Good waste of 20 seconds. But, you know, it is what it is. But we're going to the first game of the episode at the Cottage with the Sirigu Tifo. We go against the might of Chelsea in a very, very difficult West London derby. I think it's West London derby. I have no idea. I think it is. Um, so I've got the team on the screen. We've got Sirigu in goal, Brian Gavardi, Altangang and Robinson defence. We've got Sessignon and Anguisa as the holding midfielders with Demir, Wilson and Meller as the attacking trio with Mitrovic leading the line on his own. That's how the team's laid out. Demir is on the right-hand side, so Wilson will move into the central to start off with. In the seventh minute, we start the game. Tanganga clears the ball. With Sessignon being tackled. Ball from Sessignon as Havertz puts into the back of the net. Sessignon really at fault for that goal. I'm not really sure what he was doing for it. It was a bit annoying, and I hate the spinner Rooney celebration. Honestly, it reminds me of Booker T, the wrestler, who's actually got a good celebration, but this guy, Havertz, does not do it in real life, and it's his default celebration for some reason. You know, it is what it is. But in the 25th minute, Wilson gives away the ball to Kante, who was everywhere this game. He was horrible to play against. And Havertz goes through on goal again, and it's 2-0. As quick as you like. Good football from Chelsea, and he does it again. Because he's a knobhead. But yeah, we are 2-0 down, and I, I, I don't know what I can really do about that. It's a, it's a good ball, good volley. And uh, we do go 2-0 down. Goal for but um, we have to wait until the second half to get our next chance. As you see, the half-time whistle goes. Very disappointing half. We didn't have much fight. There were a lot of bookings in this game. I didn't really show them, but just a very, very physical game. As Pulisic in the 50th minute goes through. And should Sirigu be saving that? I don't want to slate Sirigu already because he's only just the new keeper in the team. I mean, it's, it's an awkward angle to save it, I guess. But still, 3-0 um, down and not much I could do. But Mitrovic and Sadiq link up fantastically well here plays a really nice bit of football and Sadiq goes through on goal and makes it 3-1 in the 55th minute good finish from Sadiq he, I mean that should count as two I think pretty sure they're the rules of football you hit it in the net twice at two goals but I mean 3-1 now not bad not bad at all but Chelsea just very difficult to break down aren't they so we have to wait a bit of a while to get our next chance Ben Kennedy holding off Lukaku is something I never thought I'd see and Mitrovic goes in the 68th minute it's a great save by Mendy. Fantastic goalkeeper in real life, Benjamin Mendy. Not Benjamin Mendy, Jesus, that is a very insulting thing to say. Edward Mendy, sorry. But we do go from the next corner. And Mitrovic does win the header. It's cleared off the line by Alonso, I believe. So Mella goes down the line in the 87th minute. Looking for Sadiq, but Mitrovic finds the header into the bottom corner. Edward Mendy is not going to save that one. Very, very good finish by Big Mitro. And uh, he does make it 3-2. And it's really, as I said, really, really difficult. That was our next major chance in the next 20 minutes of gameplay. But um, Mitrovic just scored his 19th goal this season in 26 matches. But it's not enough. Sadly, it's not enough. Um, we did all right, to be honest, but there wasn't really much we could do with that. And it's a defeat at the Cottage, which we never really like to see, because we have been quite good at home this season, which we needed to be for a relegate, well, for a recently promoted team. But um, you can see from the stats, we did all right. Two expected goals to there, four basically. And um, the team played all right. Sirigu got, Sirigu got a 7.1. He did make quite a few saves I didn't really show. And Gavardel was fantastic this game. But uh, just a bit of a disappointing result. A bit lacklustre in general with the um, defending. I'm, I'm not good at defending, am I? Let's be honest. Not really good at FIFA, but we did all right. It just is what it is in the end of the day. Uh, but I mean the press conference again I don't know if anyone likes seeing him but I mean it just is I, I, I sort of like to show him to break down the games a little bit or it's just game 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 so uh, it's just a nice little breather before going to the next game and then we can easily transition into the next game without having too much blow in the episode so we do go into the second game of the episode again another very difficult game against Aston Villa I'm not sure who the TIFO is I hope that's not Jack Grealish just, I think that's quite offensive if it is. 
But I mean, we do see the team. Sirigu starts again. Adarabao comes in at right back with Tanganga Gavardi and Robinson rounding out the defence. Reading Dembele is holding midfielders with Kennedy and Meller as the attacking midfielders and big Sadiq and big Mitro as the strikers. So, um, a good team. Rodak makes a bench again. I'm, I'm honest, he's not playing again. Honest, he's never playing for this team again as Sirigu makes a good save. Is there Adab Adarabayo? I can't say his name, honestly. Tries to clear the ball out to Robinson. It's intercepted and a good through ball to Danny Ings where Robinson misreads the flight of the ball. Goes under his foot and it's two mistakes in a row from Robinson. And I'd say he's at fault for that goal. Like that one there. It's just no saving that from Sirigu. It's just unfortunate. It's one of them goals which you can't really do anything about. 10 goals and 25 for Danny Ings and uh, we are 1-0 down. But Mela starts again in the ninth minute. Cross the ball to Mitrovic and what a save from Emi Martinez. Absolutely unbelievable goalkeeper as uh, Reed's shot is blocked. We go against Sadiq with another good force, another good save from Emi Emiliano Martinez. He's a keeper I'd like in this team, to be honest. But uh, very, very unfortunate. On the next corner, Martinez claims the ball from the leap in Mitrovic. But he's such a good goalkeeper, honestly. And he does keep him in the game in the first half as we do go behind into the break 1-0 down and uh, it was a good finish from Ings to be honest in the 51st minute we have Zamboangisa passing the ball lovely to Mella and he shoots a cross goal and save that Emi Martinez absolutely no chance from the Argentine number one as Mella has started to add a lot more goals to his game I'm sure he had 2 in 17 at the start of the season I think he scored quite a lot more recently so a uh, good goal from Mella good football but Ben Kennedy looking for Sadiq down the line who whips the ball in towards Mitrovic. It's another good save from Martinez. As Mitrovic shouts at the floor, as you do. I had to show the replay for this, but it's a fantastic save. Just gets his hand up and tips it over the bar. Great reactions from Martinez. Um, as we do try and, try and cross the ball in from the next corner. We aim for Mitrovic and he's cleared off the line by uh, Andre Zola, I believe as uh, Martinez boots the ball out very strangely and uh, eventually the ball does land back to Martinez. It was fantastic again there. But in the 62nd minute, Schlagler has a shot and it's such a good save from Sirigu. I definitely didn't say his name right, but what a save from Sirigu that is. It's a really good volley from the Austrian. What a save. I mean, that is an action shot. He just tips it round the post. It's a very good save. Keeps in the game. In the 67th minute, we have another mistake from Adarabayo, who uh, plays it to Gori, who plays it to Gori to Ings, and Ings taps it into the net. No saving that from Sirigu. What is Tossin doing here? Honestly, it's good football as Gori plays it to Ings, but honestly, terrible defending from Tossin, as usual. As Ben Kennedy comes off for, uh, I believe it's Wilson, and um, the attack breaks down straight from kickoff. But we do uh, pick up the ball again and look at that from a challenge from Gori. A straight red card. I'll show you the replay because it's a, it's a terrible challenge. Again, GBH, manslaughter charges on Harrison Reed. That only because he's ginger. But look at this from a finish from John McGinn. Oh my God. What keeper in the league is going to save that? I don't think any of them would. Lovely hold-up play from Danny Ings, who sort of does Gavardial on the turn. What a finish that is, honestly. And we are under the cosh, but they are a man down, remember, so we have got a chance to get back. And Mella runs to on goal. No challenge from Zubelda, which is really weird. And he does get a goal back for us. I try and pick up the ball and then Mella falls over because that's how you do it with your really, really shocking balance. There's a little cartwheel to celebrate. But um, good bit of football again. Mella with his 93 pace. He's honestly unreal. I don't even know to liken him to because he's six foot three as well. 83rd minute, Mella again causing problem play to Zambo Anguisa. And what a goal that is. Emi Martinez, nowhere near it again. I mean, I'm not expecting him to be. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's such a good finish from Big Zambo Anguisa. And uh, in the 93rd minute, Villa are pushing for a late goal. And thankfully, Ivan Cavallero with his high work rate. I mean, I think he's got low work rate defensive, but he did really, really well there to intercept the ball. And uh, we get, uh, to be fair, the Villa fans are really upset about that. And I will be as well, because we were under the cosh there until Gori got sent off. But they did go 3-1 up and we did uh, come back. We have the Ginger Perlo himself there celebrating with the players. A good 3-3 draw, to be fair. That's a good name for Harrison Reed, that, isn't it? The Ginger Perlo. I like that. That's a good name. A bit like... Um, it's a bit like Paul Scholes, just just better. So, um, yeah, the press conference again about Mella. Fantastic performance from the youngster. I still forget he's only 19, so 
He's done really, really well. But we do go to the next game of the episode at the Cottage with the Cavallero Tifo. All because of that interception last game. That's why he's got the Tifo up. I told the fans they had to put the Tifo up for that. And uh, we go against Newcastle. Got the team on your screen. We've got Siri going goal. We've got Tete comes in at right back. Tanganga, Gavardi, and Robinson as usual in the defence. Blanco and Anguissa in midfield because Blanco is fantastic. And then Wilson, Mella, Cavani, and Mitch, which is the front four. By the way, Sadiq isn't getting as much game time at the moment because he's always unfit. I don't know why, but that's how it is. But very early into the game, Tete makes an awful attempt for a challenge. And Patrick Schick, with his fourth goal in four games, scores a fantastic goal for Newcastle. It's an easy, easy finish from the uh, Czech striker who dominated the Euros. But uh, unfortunate for us. In the 21st minute, Mitrovic gets a bit lucky and plays the ball to Mello, who ball rolls Lascelles with his 45 balance and agility and puts it away again. Honestly, he's been absolutely fantastic the second half of the season. I try and celebrate and I can't, so really annoying. But um, they do the little handshake celebration, so I skip it because I hate that celebration with a passion. But very, very good play. Gets past the old man Lascelles. Does make it 1 1. But in the 24th minute again, Zambo Aguisa to Mitrovic. Hits it across Darlow. Honestly, nowhere near it from the Newcastle number one. I'm not sure why they're not playing Dubravka or Woodman, but it's a good finish from Mitrovic against his former club. He hates Newcastle as much as the rest of us do. We do go 2 1 up. But Carrillo in the 28th minute causing some problems. Plays the ball back to Jeff Hendrick, to Patrick Schick. And what a block that is from Tanganga. Originally, I thought it was a save, but it's a fantastic bit of defending from the Fordham, Tottenham, former Tottenham Academy graduate as uh, they do go really close with the header from the resulting corner. But um, just before half-time, Newcastle again, creating a bit of space. They make it 2-2. Not much I could do about that. Patrick Schick on his weak foot. Hits the ball across Sirigu. And I can't blame Sirigu for that, can I? Let's have a look on the replay. It's a bit of a weak shot. It's weak as piss, to be honest, but still not really saving that from Sirigu. In the 59th minute, Blanco plays a lovely ball to Wilson, who sprints past Zagadou with his 54 pace and makes it 3-2. Absolutely fantastic goal from the boys on the counter, on the break. It was a good play from Zambuangis originally to intercept the ball, but Blanco with a very nice pass. Didn't overhit it like sometimes they do on FIFA. And a good finish from Wilson to put us 3-2 up. But Newcastle pressing to get another goal. Ryan Fraser, it's a very, very good late challenge from Tete, I believe, and Sirigu claims the ball as uh, we go on the attack ourselves. Sessignon intercepted with the pass. But he does play a skill pass, because I, I don't know why I do that, but I, I like skill passes. Play some nice football, and Mitrovic again, straight from kickoff. What a finish that is. I don't know why it wanted to go straight to goal line technology, so I don't think I show a replay. Absolutely fantastic goal from Mitrovic. Absolutely twats it off the crossbar. It's a really, really good goal from the big Serbian. In the 85th minute, Newcastle with Angel... Oh, I can't remember his name. Yangel Herrera. And Almiron makes it 4-3. What a goal that was. Oh, my God. Because we do bring on Adarabayo for Tete because Tete's blowing out his arse. So, um, we, do, we, we do all right there. There's not much I can defend with that. Sirigu's nowhere near it. But um, we do indeed snatch the 4-3 win at the cottage and uh, I think we're a bit lucky to be fair Siri got a decent game again we go into the press conference and it's it's all smiles to be fair I'm not I'm quite impressed with the team uh, it was a very good performance Mitrovic again two more goals absolutely unbelievable striker and uh, we're just trying to boost the morale of the team because even though we've been alright recently we've actually been on really good form we haven't really lost many games I know we lost at the start of the episode but we've been alright since then and we've done all right in our last 10 games. We've got a very, very, very difficult game against the champions, Manchester City. They, they finished the top of the league last season on 86 points. I'd look at one of the old episodes. And uh, we do have a strong team out. We have Sirigu in goal. We have Sessignon, Tanganga, Gavardi and Robinson as the defence. We have Kennedy and Zambangish as the midfielders with Wilson, Mella and Sadiq and Mitrovic as the front four. So another 4-2-2-2, four, four, two, 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 which is the preferred formation nowadays since it was recommended it. And uh, a lot of responsibility for Ben Kennedy and Sessing. And you are playing a bit out of position. Kennedy's only 17, obviously, and Sessing on's not a right back. But we're going to try it, see how it goes. And hopefully we can um, steal some points off the champions. As uh, we do kick off at the Etihad. I love the uh, graphics for the Etihad, by the way. It looks fantastic in game. I know it's, it's, it's full, so it's a bit unrealistic, but still quite nice. In the 13th minute, Zambangisa breaking through. Foden can't knock him off the ball. Zambangisa's got a really good chance here. 
And he hits it's a good save from Edison. The resilient look at all them fans. That is not the Etihad. Not the Etihad at all. But um, from the resulting corner, you cross the ball in towards Mitrovic. And Edison's got like 70 speed, so he literally runs to the ball quicker than anyone, anyone on my attacking from. 18th minute, City are attacking really dangerously. It's a good save from Sirigu, but the rebound's just tucked in from Foden. It's very, very unlucky from the Italian goalkeeper. Again, what can I do to defend that? Honestly, it's a good save, but the rebound just goes straight back to him. So, unfortunate, but the youngster does score. If Manchester City, we do go 1-0 down. As um, Sadiq does a bit of skill from kickoff in the 38th minute. They're playing the ball around. De Bruyne to Torres. And it's 2-0. Or is it? He does get flagged for offside and uh, keeps in the game a little bit. In the 45th, though, he's not offside this time. Raheem Sterling gets past his man. Robinson nowhere near him and it's a good finish. We're getting thumped by the champions, aren't we? Absolutely thumped. 2-0 down now and uh, not much I can do to stop them, to be honest. They're a good football inside. Uh, but the half-time whistle does go as, as Sadiq is fouled there, to be fair. I thought it was a really, like, a really silly challenge. I'm surprised it wasn't a booking. But um, City are really let off as Tanganga hits a thunderbolt from range and Edison easily collects it and gathers it into his chest. But we do go into the break, 2-0 down, and um, City fans are clapping. Not much I could do about that. But uh, we're going to the second half and Blanco making a nuisance of himself coming off the bench for Kennedy and Henry Meller scores again. I hope his name's Henry. I say it's Henry all the time, so I'm hoping it is. But uh, he does make it 2-1. He stirs his pot. I don't know why. He's not Gnabry, but still. Good finish from uh, Henry Mellor. And Blanco comes off the bench. He's absolutely fantastic in this second half. As he puts pressure on Edison there. And look at this from the worst keeping you'll see. Edison throws the ball out. We read it. And Mitrovic taps it in. What the hell is that from Edison? We got absolutely wild at the Etihad. We get the 2-2 comeback. What scenes these are, honestly. It's so good to see because City were dominating the game and uh, Sirigu did play really well, to be honest. But honestly, that is terrible goalkeeping from Edison. What is he doing here? I, I sort of caught on to what he was trying to do. I just read it. Five-star weak foot, Mitrovic taps it in. Easy as piss, that. Yeah, 22 goals and 29 for Mitrovic, top scorer in the league. In the 93rd minute, we're running down the wing and it's so unlucky from Sadiq, but the ball comes out to Blanco and he holds off Torres. And look at this. Blanco 30 yards out and he wins the game in the last minute against Man City. Look at them scenes. The police are holding the fans back because the City fans are going mad. And here's the man in the hat as well, come to celebrate with the team. I mean, I'm taller than that, to be fair. I don't I don't think that's a good metronome for my height. But still, Sirigu going insane. That's what you like to see. You like to see a bit of passion in the team. The City players cannot believe it. They've been shocked by boring mid-table Fulham. To be fair, we're not boring. We score like four goals a game. Concede five. But what a finish from Blanco. That's goal of the season already, that. Just because of what area it's in and what game it's in. Third goal in six matches for Blanco. Absolutely fantastic play from the Spaniard. And uh, he was worth that free zero pound deal, wasn't he? We do steal the game. Ferran Torres is not happy. We're going to the press conference and this is probably the best one we've had at save. The best win of the save. Absolutely fantastic result from the boys. Really, really happy with that. And uh, the press conference is so upbeat, it's unreal. We were 2-0 down at half-time and it was a bit like the Tottenham v uh, Man United game. We went in at half-time. I had a massive goal at the boys and then we've come back and won 3-2. We did really, really well there. We're still 14th in the league, but I'm not even joking. The gap between us and... Um, What's it called? Sixth place is five points. How am I meant to recover that? Like it's, it's not really fair. It's six points between six and fourteen, so uh, it's a bit annoying. They could drop a few points. We could win a few. But we see Mitrovic is a top scorer in the league on t with twenty two and twenty nine, above Podence and level with Lacazette. Got a few more players on the list now. Sadiq, obviously, he's had a very good season with um, a good good range of goals. And Mel is a top assister with Wilson and Mitrovic. And then we see our clean sheets and it's as depressing as always. No clean sheets again. Not much I can really do there. But in the next episode, we've got Man United away at the Old Trafford, Palace at home, and we've got Tottenham away at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And then we've got another difficult ho uh, home game against Leeds. And it's a very, very 
good end to the episode. But I do really appreciate you watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.